Hi Aries, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angela333. Hope everybody's doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a few highlights in the description box. There will be an extended reading link below if this reading resonates with you. You can check it out. Um, I do treat it like a personal reading and I look at the next three weeks going forward from this reading. Also below uh, details how to enter my free personal reading giveaway. And lastly, uh, my Meditation Relax Calm channel is in the description box if you'd like to check it out. And there's some other things there too if you uh, have some time, okay? So with that, Aries, let's get started. I'm going to pull two major arcana cards, one for you and one for your person. Okay. So let's see. All right. So your energy is showing up as the chariot and your person's energy is showing up as the magician. Interesting. Okay. So I feel like uh, Aries, there's an energy here, right? You're wanting things to move forward. Maybe you're wanting to move forward from this connection. We'll see. Um, and with the magician, your person's energy they're trying to manifest something here. So let's see, or they're going to make something happen. So let's see what's in your energy. What is in Aries energy here? Also can be your person is very connected spiritually as above. So below, let's see what the energy is here for Aries. Okay, so we got the six of cups. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Strength card, Leo energy. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. Wow. I feel like there is a soulmate here that you see the potential, right, of a relationship here. Okay. Uh, you got Strength card and you have the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this is a situation you want to move forward. I feel like you want to work on this connection, this relationship here. You do have the Knight of Wands. Um, so I'm going to say, for some of you, I almost feel like this could be a new person that has recently come into your life. This can indicate a new lover. But it also could be somebody, right, maybe... Uh, you know, maybe they've been, you know, not really consistent. Okay, so let's see here what is in your person's energy. What is in Aries person's energy? What is in Aries person's energy? Okay, so there you are. All right, they're thinking about you. Definitely, you're on their mind. Ten of Cups. Queen of Swords. And the Knight of Swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Fool card. All right. Some of you, I feel like this is a new relationship or someone new that you are dating. I'm also going to say here, this could be a friend, maybe a friend that you may be thinking that there is potential there for you and this person. It's going to be different for everybody. But I see the energy here of... You know, it looks good. Your person's energy, you have the Emperor, you have the Ten of Cups. So I feel like they see happiness with you, right? I feel like you both are pretty much on the same page. Now you have the Queen of Swords here and you also have the Knight of Swords, okay? I feel like your person here wants to have some sort of conversation. You do have here the Fool card. You do have here the Page of Wands and you have the Three of Pentacles. I feel like there's going to be some sort of upcoming conversation between you and this person. Um, I feel like you want to move forward in this connection, this relationship. I'm going to say, I feel like this is a newer energy. So it may be that this person hasn't come in yet for some of you. And for some of you, I feel like this is someone you already know in your energy. Like I said, it could even be a friend. I'm going to say this could be somebody you know from your past. It doesn't have to be like an ex-lover or anything, but it can be. Uh, I feel Aries... Um, that you really want to focus on this connection, this relationship. And I feel like with your person here, um, I do feel like your person may see you as a bit guarded. 
um, you know, a bit guarded, maybe feeling like you're not opening up a whole lot. Uh, you do have the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Swords, okay? I want to clarify that Knight of Swords and just see what that energy is. We're going to see what the potential outcome is of this situation. We'll get some, um, some oracles as well. So why is the Knight of Swords here, please? Why is the Knight of Swords here? We have the Page of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups. And we have the Emperor. Okay, this is someone I feel here that has love for you. They have feelings for you. Uh, we also have here Judgment. Okay, so I'm picking up a couple things here. This is someone coming towards you. I feel like they want to have some sort of conversation with you, Aries. We have the Page of Swords, we have the Knight of Cups, and we have the Emperor, okay? If you do not have anybody in your life yet and you are online dating, I feel like this person's been checking out your profile. Now, maybe they've been checking you out on social media if you're not online dating, but um, otherwise, I feel like for some of you, if this is someone you already know, I feel like there hasn't, like maybe there's been sporadic communication, you know, maybe uh, not... Uh, a whole lot of communication between you and this person, but this is someone who's very interested in you, Aries, and it could even be another Aries for some of you. Um, you have the Judgment card here. You have the Four of Swords as well. So I sense here that this person has really been thinking about you. I also sense that uh, I really feel like this could be somebody that you already know, Aries, whether there is somebody in your love life or not interesting enough. Um, because I see a new beginning here, as I said, with this full card. Okay, so some of you may be single, right? And, but let's, I'm going to, before I do the outcome, I just want to pull a couple of these cards. So I'm going to pull one in your energy, Aries, see what comes up. Okay, interesting. Acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. Okay, so some of you, this could be somebody that you broke up with. Let's see what else. Or maybe you just came out of a relationship. You also have your love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking and letting you know. Okay. So this may be somebody that uh, you want to hear from. Okay, yeah, because I do feel like your energy, you've pulled back your energy, and maybe some of you are just very focused on work, but I feel like, you know, there's an energy here of you wanting to focus. Now, that acts may not be for everybody. Some of you could, you may have just come through a, a breakup, and there's a new person coming in, and for some of you, this may be someone you broke up with, okay? Um, I've, I just feel like more of a new energy, but let's see what your person's side has to say. Oh, okay. We have addiction. So codependent, obsession, controlling. Okay, this person could be a little bit controlling, um, obsessive. Um, this could be also someone that doesn't want to let you go. Oh, look at that. You have engagement ring, engagement, partnership, completion, and union. Okay, well, I feel like this person wants more than they're letting on with you. Interesting, okay. So let's get the potential outcome of the situation here, Aries. What is the potential outcome of the situation for Aries? What is the potential outcome? You're, you're reading, I don't know, Aries, it's just confusing me a little bit because I feel a newer energy, but at the same token, um, I feel like some of you, there's an X, okay? And that could be why, because there's a lot of you out there. But let's see what the potential outcome is here in the situation for Aries. And remember, your person's energy is the magician here. So they are someone who wants to make things happen. I don't know. Maybe you're, you're like, if I don't hear from this person soon, I'm done, okay? <laughs> or if this person doesn't express their love to me or they don't open up to me, I'm done. I don't know. It's it's interesting, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Uh, we may need to do some more clarifying. The King of Swords, the King, oh, 
Oh, is there two people here, Aries? That's why I'm picking up new and someone from the past. And we also have here the Hierophant. We got Taurus energy. Okay. Are you getting a call from an ex? That may be what it is, Aries. Okay. I feel like there's a newer energy. Either they've come in or they haven't come in yet, but they will soon. And I feel that's what's happening. You're getting a call from an ex. And I actually think your last reading, that was the energy I pulled as well. Okay, so it's making sense now. So there may be somebody else I feel here in the picture that um, is having a hard time letting go. Okay, but I feel like there's a newer energy here. Okay, so there is something around commitment, engagement. I may clarify that. Actually, I'm going to clarify that and see if this is a new, this is from the new person or this is someone from your past who's wanting a commitment or engagement here. All right, so we have the two of swords. We have the king of wands, the king of swords, and we have the five of cups. Wow. So I feel this two of swords. This may be you, uh Aries, not sure what to do about the situation here upcoming. Why is the two of swords here, please? Why is the two of swords here? Okay, we have the king of swords, which we have here. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever had this happen before. Look at that. There's two people here, Aries, and it's not about male or female. It's about the energy of the king of wands and the king of swords. Look what clarifying the decision here. I said you're going to have a decision. And both of these people, okay, it's about the energy, not um, male or female. You're going to have a decision. Wow. And maybe that too here is why the chariot is here. You're in control and you're going to have to make a decision. And I feel like you're going to, you're going to have to move forward. Um <laughs> with one of these people oh my gosh and look what showed up on the bottom of the deck which is pretty amazing the knight of swords which showed up in your person's energy <laughs> oh wow okay so you are going to have a decision aries okay let's clarify this king of wands why is who is this king of wands or why is the king of wands here okay yeah look at that competition <laughs> Five of Wands, oh my gosh, and the Hierophant, okay. Somebody wants to fight for this connection. Could be a Taurus as well. Uh, know that they can be any sign, but I'm just calling out the strong signs here. I feel, um, you know, you could be dealing with a fire sign, an air sign, Taurus energy. Oh, wow. Let's see why the King of Swords is here, please. Why is the King of Swords here? Ten of Cups. And the Ace of Wands. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Sun card. Okay. I feel like there's one person here that wants a relationship. We're going to see when we clarify this. And then we have one person who wants to rekindle things. I almost feel like this King of Swords is somebody who wants to rekindle the relationship with you. Um, you know, so this could be this X here. Wow, let's see why the Five of Cups is here. Why is the Five of Cups here, please? Why is the Five of Cups here, please? We have the Empress, the Wheel, wow, and the Two of Cups and the World card here. All right. Oh, boy. I'm feeling a lot of love around you, Aries. We have the Empress, the Wheel, and we have the Two of Cups. There is someone here I feel like you have a strong spiritual connection with. Um, you know, you got the world card here as well. I just get an energy. It could be this King of Swords energy. I feel like there is somebody here that um, is feeling sad without you. And I feel like, you know, this could be this person here wanting to rekindle things. Okay, that could be that love call you're going to get from an ex. I mean, we are in Mercury retrograde. Uh, you know, whether you want to you want to look at this situation or not. But either way, with Mercury retrograde, whether it's 
you know, just this person coming back, but it's coming back so that you can, you know, finally decide, you know, whether you want to move past that, move on, get closure, or whether you want to rekindle things with this person. So let's clarify very interesting. I'm sorry if you're hearing the background noise. Uh, I think the gardener's here, but okay. <laughs> oh, wait. this engagement ring. Okay, this partnership here. Is this the new person? Is this a new person? Tell me new energy. What do you get? What do I get here with the new energy with this engagement ring? We've got the six of wands. We have the seven of pentacles. And we have the five of swords. Interesting. And then what do we get here with past energy? Four of pentacles. Eight of swords. High Priestess, okay, and bottom of the deck here, the Queen of Swords. All right, so I'm really picking up here. Um, wow. Aries, I'm going to say I'm getting more so the new energy here, but it's going to be your decision because there's two people here, all right? Um, your person on the past feels like they've really held back. Um, you know, this person I feel here is someone who gets very caught up in their thoughts. They, they, you know, could even be someone who self-sabotages. I just really get an energy areas of the new person, but it's going to be your choice. I see you being indecisive here. So you're going to get a call from an ex, but I also see either a new person that you are dating or somebody that is coming in very soon for you. So very interesting, Aries. I'm going to take this to the extended. Um, I'm going to see how this plays out. I'm going to pull your this person from the past for those of you who are still interested on what would you know, potentially happen with that situation. So I hope to see you there, Aries. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.